Hi. Good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 106. Today, we will be discussing two more fundamental quantities, which are the temperature and time. Temperature, by the way, is the degree of hotness or coolness of a system. The instrument used in determining temperature is the thermometer. Now, the thermometer is of two types. We have the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. Now, what is the difference between these two types of thermometer? The laboratory thermometer gives us a wide range of temperature reading. It usually starts with the zero degrees centigrade up to 200 degrees centigrade or even higher. While the clinical thermometer gives us a shorter temperature range. Usually it starts at 34 degrees centigrade up to 40 or 41 degrees centigrade. Now, the clinical thermometer is of three kinds. One, we have the auxiliary thermometer, we have also the oral thermometer, and the rectal thermometer. There are two common units used to express temperature. One, we have the Celsius, and the other one is the Fahrenheit. For the Celsius scale, this was invented by Anders Celsius. The prominent characteristic of the Celsius thermometer is that it gives a reading of zero degrees as its freezing point of water and 100 degrees centigrade as the boiling point of water. If you are going to take note of the difference between the freezing point and the boiling point of water using the Celsius scale, there is a difference of 100 units. That's why the Celsius scale or the Celsius thermometer is otherwise expressed as centigrade. For the other common thermometer, which is the Fahrenheit scale or the Fahrenheit thermometer, this was invented by Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. The prominent characteristic of the Fahrenheit thermometer is that it registers 32 degrees Fahrenheit as the freezing point of water and 212 degrees Fahrenheit as the boiling point of water. If you are going to take note of the difference between the freezing point and the boiling point of water using the Fahrenheit scale, there is a difference of 180 units. Now, if you would like to convert the centigrade reading to a Fahrenheit reading, you are going to use the formula degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times degrees centigrade plus 32. Now, if you are going to convert degrees Fahrenheit back to degrees centigrade, then you are going to use the formula degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, the difference of which will be multiplied by the factor 5 over 9. Now, what are these factors which are 9 over 5 and the 5 over 9? If you try to recall the difference between the boiling point and the freezing point in the Celsius scale, there is a difference of 100 degrees or 100 units. And for the Fahrenheit, 
there is also a difference of 180 units. If you are going to make a ratio between these two differences, then you can have a factor which is 9 over 5 and 5 over 9. There are two other scales which are also used in expressing temperature. There is the Kelvin and the Rankine. The Kelvin scale was invented by William Thompson, who is also known as Lord Kelvin. In his thermometer, the centigrade is related to Kelvin in the sense that the formula in converting the centigrade to Kelvin is Kelvin equals degree centigrade plus 273. This value of 273 was taken at that temperature which is called the absolute temperature. At this point, all molecular movements of the water stops. The other scale is the Rankine scale. The Rankine scale was invented by William John McCorn Rankine. Now this Rankine thermometer or scale is related to that of the Fahrenheit in the sense that if you're going to look at for or solve for the Rankine, you have simply to add 460 to degrees Fahrenheit. That means degrees Rankine is equal to degrees Fahrenheit plus 460. Okay, I would like to give you an example of a temperature problem. This is the problem. The average normal body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. What is the Fahrenheit equivalent? For problem number one, we are given that the normal body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. Now, we are asked to express this in terms of Fahrenheit. A while ago, I gave you the formula in converting the centigrade to Fahrenheit. I said that if you multiply the degree centigrade by 9 over 5, and add it by 32, then we will get the value of the Fahrenheit. In this case, the 37 degrees centigrade will be multiplied by 9 over 5, and this will give us 66.6. .6. Then if we're going to add it with 32, then this will give us 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Another fundamental quantity that we're going to discuss today is time. Now, time is a continued progress of existence and events that occur in an apparently irreversible succession from the past through the present into the future. Now, during the ancient times, the people use the sundial to tell the time. But nowadays, we are already using the watches and the clock to tell us the time. The common units used to express time are the seconds, the minutes, and the hour. Or you can further say number of days or weeks, months, and years. Now, in one minute, there are 60 seconds. In one hour, there are 60 minutes. In one day, there are 24 hours. In one week, there are seven days. And in one month, there are 30 to 31 days and in one year there are 12 months so these are the 
common expressions of time. So I will give you an example or problem about time. Kyla started walking at 6.30 a.m. for her daily exercise. She finished it at 8.15 a.m. How long did she take her walking exercise? So, in this problem, we're only to get the difference of the time when Kyla started walking until she finished her exercise. So, what will we do? Simply subtract 8.15 by 6.30. Now, in subtracting 8.15 by 6.30, Convert 8.15 to 7.15 because we're going to borrow one hour from 8.15. So it becomes 7.15 minus 6.30. We'll have the answer one hour and 45 minutes. And I will give you an exercise about temperature and time. Now, I will give you the exercise through the Google Classroom. Can I leave you it there? And with your solution or your answers, you send it through the email which I gave you last time. That is all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nesitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.